Good afternoon, or should I say good morning. It's Saturday, and the Saturday before Christmas, and I wanted to recap what we talked about on the company meeting, since there was uh, probably more uh, attention paid to my poem than there was uh, what I had to say about multiple offers. So I just sent out the email to the entire company with this download, just the two pages from the PDF, uh, regarding multiple offer scenarios. I've been getting a lot of calls lately and texts and emails about um, frustrated agents, you know, submitting their offer, wondering if it's fair play to, re you know, not respond to an offer by the deadline, not um, even counter or decline it, but sit on it and wait for other offers, things like that. And so the one thing we know is that in our business, presentation of offers is uh, one of our obligations, and that's really where it stops. Um, the only law governing the presentation of offers is a rule that requires a real estate licensee to forward all offers he or she receives to the sellers. After that, um, there's no requirement that the seller consider the offer, respond to it, accept it, counter offer it, whatever. And so that's where the frustration comes in because you have sellers who may be uh, hoping for a better offer or a bidding war, and they're gonna sit tight on that first offer if there isn't a deadline set. And so we will typically um, not set a deadline in a lot of instances just to see what comes. And, and I tell my buyers in that scenario, if there's not a deadline, then you probably better make it worth the while of the seller to respond to the offer and take it off the market. And that could even be a better than full price offer at that point. So, um, so there's no requirement that a seller also treat each potential buyer in any particular order. If you were the first one delivered in, um, they can discriminate against your offer based on anything that's not a protected class in fair housing. And so you also have this um, notion that, hey, I'm in a escalation clause, they have to respond to me. No, they don't. They can just ignore that offer and respond to the one they want to accept it or counter offer it. So there's a lot of different things going on in the market right now. Just be aware of that. Um, check out the email I sent. Um, there are There's two pages to this and um, read both of them. Here's some other good points. An offer cannot be accepted orally. However, a um, killing an offer or killing a contract can or rejecting an offer can be done verbally. So keep that in mind. Um, you can withdraw a counter offer verbally. And so read through this. There's a lot of good tips in here as far as contract law, opening the contract. Um, you know, anytime you submit an addendum or counter offer that opens a contract, parties can leave. And so make sure you're up to date on your contract law. And there's even a nice little link that you can click in here for um, to learn more about navigating that through Michigan Realtors. Um, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Happy holidays. My phone's ringing. I got Christmas presents to deliver. Have a great weekend.